Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. So sorry guys, I am a bit late, but we're here, we're here. We're going to do the he says, she says spread. For those who have a personal reading with me, uh, I'm starting with the second batch of readings after the generals. I could just not make all of them because it was just way too many. So just be patient, they are coming. All right, so let's see what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So he said, she said, please make sure to follow me on Vimeo. That's my other channel where I put like the extended videos and other messages out. So please make sure you follow me there so you don't miss those either. So let's see. I do know that you guys are in a in a place where life changing events are going to happen. Um, it could be for the good or it could be for the for the worst. Like it could be like going both ways actually. For some it would be not so good. For others it would be a, a renewal. So let's just see what the messages are for you guys. But definitely a lot of changes are coming. And if something is not good for you, it will swift away and it will be gone. And it will be only for your best interest. If it's meant for you, it will happen. All right. What's the past energy for Aries? Woo. Queen of Wands. There you go. There you go. Confidence on points. Oof. Wow. Okay. This, who got this? Virgo. Virgo. God, Queen of Wands with the Two of Cups as well. This is a new, as I said, it could be like a new soulmate coming in, uh, someone that you have been very passionate about. This could also be just like a friendship, like you meet someone and you're just like, bam, it's just like, wow, you could be like a good friend of mine and it's just like a... I do, I do got the sense that this is someone that was helping you or that was... Um, I don't know why I'm just I'm I'm just getting this vibe that you could have met someone that you were like okay we could just be hanging out we can chill this could be love interest but for others of you this is definitely like a past life relationship that you meet someone and you're like okay there is something with this individual but the 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 feeling is kind of mutual so this is like a lot of passion a lot of fire a lot of understanding towards one another and you're really passionate about it like you're really passionate about it i do see the eight of wands here in the reverse so it might just you know the communication could be a bit slow with this individual could be in other another aries sagittarius or a leo but starting off good starting off good what are the messages for the other side, we do have the Emperor showing up. That's your energy, Aries. But you're very confident. Um, you could be also getting balance within yourself. Like your masculine and your feminine energies can be getting in balance right now. Where you don't lose your temper or you're just like... You, you just feel... You feel just cool down, like you know how to handle yourself, how to handle your energy. Let's see. What's the past energy for the person that we are dealing with? Ooh, why so nasty? Why was why, why so nasty? Start seven of swords. Ah. <sighs> Someone's running away from this connection. Someone is trying to get away with murder, as I always say. Six of Cups. Yeah, they're definitely running away. They're definitely trying to avoid you. Even though the connection is real, they may just like cut off contact and you're just like, what? Why? I thought things were okay. Like, we just had a connection. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? <clears throat> and this person is running away from discussing things about the past. So, this could have been a soulmate that came back um, recently. Venus retrograde. Be careful. Wait it out before you, you know, wear your heart on your sleeve. Just chill. You know, you don't know if this is going to... <clears throat> 
this is a time where you really need to go a bit into the hermit mood because this person is obviously not ready to um, to communicate. They're trying to get away, but they know that they need to come back and explain later on. So it's just like cutting yourself in the fingers when you are dealing with a seven of swords energy. So definitely an avoidance of the past. And in this sense, it's almost like avoiding the good things that could actually happen, all right? What's the present energy? And they could be just trying to get away from you because they might have like uh, obligations due to some court issues. We have the justice here. So they think or they feel that getting away now and not ex be explanatory will benefit actually the connection that's like what i'm getting you've got the eight of swords in the reverse oh yeah so it all started off quite well and then bam we've got the eight of swords reverse with the five of pentacles so coming out of a space of not understanding what is going on and then you look around yourself and you're like yeah, I try to understand this connection. I try to understand the other person, try to have some empathy for them. But at the end of the day, I'm the one that is, you know, not getting anything at this point. I feel lonely. I feel alone. I feel abandoned. And <clears throat> I'm just confused. But actually, the confusion is dissipating, disappearing, actually, because when you look around, that person is not there. You don't the only thing that you can see is you being left out alone and retreating this 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 probably has to do with that Venus retrograde like someone comes in passionately and then they leave and then you're like what just happened Venus in Scorpio retrograde just happened <laughs> so chill <clears throat> what's their current energy page of wands reverse they're not communicating as I said they they don't they don't show any interest um they might be coming across very sarcastic very cold very almost a bit like arrogant in a sense where you're like mm. but they do have the ace of swords so there is some kind of a truth that i feel they're coming to some kind of a truth or they're waiting for some kind of a truth. And until they have the right truth to move forward with, they are not going to communicate. And they, they might send you like mixed signals is what I'm getting here. But they're most definitely like a very arrogant like they talk very arrogant is what I'm getting. Like they they just act like they're all about it, you know. Uh, they might be trying to get away from a toxic situation or a toxic relationship. That might have to do with obedience, obedience to the law. Like there could be like some um, some court issues. Ooh, we've got the five of swords that showed itself in your blockage. So there are a lot of regrets. I, I think that someone came around because that could be you going back to that person because in the past you've been quite uh, brutal in the way that you have spoken to them. So it's like you regret in a certain extent the way that things have ended. So, you know, out of a good heart, you're just like, okay, I want to make amends actually because I'm not feeling very you know, proud of myself of doing this. So I just want to show my regret. But it could be that the other person does not see. You want to heal that. You want to heal that. But the other person may still be quite stuck on how things ended. And there is there is this feeling of feeling all is lost. But then yet again, you know how to trust this connection because it it feels real, right? It feels real, but it's just not the right timing. 
what are the up blockages or obstacles for the other person they still have some old issues that they need to fix this is like something from their past this could definitely also be that even if you came back around it was not the right timing because you know why this person does not learn their lesson this person did not learn to be honest and truthful so therefore you just got back into a situation where maybe you have changed and you have regrets or you want to you know have a different approach but that does not mean that the other person did not learn their lesson so they might be sneaking away going to someone from their past actually in order to learn their lesson and learn how to be honest they do know that they need to be honest in one certain point probably be honest in expressing you why they you know left you out in the cold and but at this time they may be a bit pessimistic they're not learning the lesson uh some there is still unfinished business it's from your part but also from someone else's part and this person does not take responsibility they do not take responsibility four of cups whatever they are trying to achieve in life at this point it's not working for them it's they they get like a shut door because of that shut door they shut you out because they need to you know they're not feeling all that optimistic that's what i said they're, they're they're being pessimistic and not optimistic and that there it is gosh i can't believe every time i'm doing these generals my ears are gonna pop like it's annoying but i know that all the information is coming in so if i'm just like acting crazy that's just because the source is open the light source is open what are the hopes king of pentacles reverse you're just like i ain't having it anymore you're just like i'm not gonna constrain i'm not gonna care i'm just gonna care about myself which is a very obvious decision to make yeah you're you're, you're done wearing your heart on your sleeve you're done expressing yourself emotionally you're done showing this person your time energy and effort you're done trying to get them the awareness of the connection that you are feeling with them you're done with that like you you just like mm -mm. three of wands reverse like I'm, I'm just gonna you know i'm not expecting anything from you because every time you come back you just leave me in the same shitty place and you just up and leave and it's me trying to fix the situation, but if you don't want it to be fixed, then I guess there's a door. Don't let it hit you. Yeah, there we go. They're stuck in a situation. They're stuck in a situation. At this point, Aries, you're just like, I don't care if you're stuck in a situation. Like, I tried to help you. <clears throat> but you like to remain stuck in that kind of position or whatever it is on your mind on you know on a mundane level i don't care but this person does want to they're desperately waiting for some kind of a solution to come in in order to save them like they they need to be saved they need they need a hero but they can be their own hero that's like what i'm getting like they want to be saved but then again they're not taking any action they're not taking any advice they're not like this is someone that that likes to get out of a situation so this is something that you may not be aware of <clears throat> this could be a family situation they could be stuck uh they could have like financial issues stuck in their parents house or you know feel a bit as if that's not how you say that like that would be inappropriate, you know. They they want to come out, like come across like I'm a real man. I can take care of myself, but the circumstances show different. Like there's this. They do want to look forward for a new beginning. For others of you, this could also definitely mean that you know that they have some troubles, like having faith in this. They doubting it, and they're you know they're trying to release um, release things without looking a little bit further 
<clears throat> wow. And I do want to look for other options. I'm just going to be honest. <clears throat> wow, what the hell is going on with me? <laughs> I don't know how you guys slept with this uh, full moon Taurus. I could not sleep. Like, I usually sleep like a baby. Like, definitely like a baby. But I was like, what? It's not even time yet. Like, it's it's just like, the full moon is today. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be a vampire today. Not going to be able to sleep. <clears throat> yeah, you know that you've been waiting in vain. You, you fear that you're waiting in pain and that this person is, you know, out there having their one night stands, having their fun, having their whatever they want to do in life. And you're just like sitting there. I think this is you. I think this is you, but this could also be the person that you're dealing with. And you know that they have feelings for you, but they're not showing it. And they're just like all in their own game, like trying to have some fun and you're just waiting for someone that will not come forward to reunite with you that's just your fear and you're just there trying to understand their you know their feelings and you're like mm, this is way too inconsistent this is way too inconsistent like yeah the connection is nice and all but the way that i feel mentally physically emotionally even financially because of this draining is that all worth it like the, is that what a real connection is about no not at all Okay. Well, they know that they're going to lose you. They know that if they continue on this, on this path, they're going to lose you. And they're going to lose something real good. Something that they, that they can grow with. Someone that they know that can provide them for from a lot of abundance growth and potential and they know that they need to make a decision there could be another woman involved here <clears throat> there could be like their wife or their ex-wife their mother their, someone um that might be trying to tell them to drop this but they know that you are the empress like they fear that they need to make a decision or else you're going to make that decision and let go. So this person is definitely aware that this behavior is not going to last forever. So these are really life-changing events. So definitely for those who are trying to cross-watch and you're behaving like that, as I said before the reading, and this is exactly what this reading is about, these are going to be life-changing events. So if you are going to juggle between two people or whether you should open up or not, it just not I don't get the feeling that there is someone else, not at all, actually. I'm just getting this vibe that someone is just playing around, playing the field. It's not like something serious, but it's like, I just want to take my time and just, you know, act single as long as I can before I can settle down because the Empress is very serious energy. Um, but as I said, this is going to be a life changing events. Like either you, you, you make the right decision and you go for the right one, or you don't make the decision because you're just not, you know, you're not mad enough for it. Um, and it's just like over and out done finito, you know, and that's not something that you Aries can, you know, you should worry about. That's just this person's stupid decision to make all right so I, I'm, I'm really getting like time is up like the, for this group of people the time is up like this individual if you ain't gonna 
choose this you ain't never gonna get this so it's it's very easy uh formulated and here we have the page of swords so most likely this person needs to communicate with you they need to tell you something probably about you know the affairs that they had which was not serious but they need to tell you that and therefore they're kind of like stalking you and you know aries this person if, if they do not choose you they're gonna stalk your ass for the rest of their life because they, they're gonna make the wrong decision so if you're a cross watcher and you're just gonna press dislike go ahead and do it i just want to see your ass over a month judgment in the reverse see you're not having it but this person is not making the right judgment when it comes to a third party situation they're not looking at this. Wow. High priestess. I'm telling you. This person, this is the outside influence. So there is a third party situation. This person could have like something going on on the work front is what I'm getting. And they're, they're not thinking clearly. And they're not looking at... They're not be, being self-aware in the situation and they're not judging the situation accordingly. This could be just like a thrill, you know, just like a thrill that, you know, sometimes you, you, you get those infatuations, right? Like you feel something, but actually it's not like, it's not love, it's not nothing, it's just lust. And, and, and some people think like, okay, that could be the one. Well, actually it's not because they're not evaluating themselves or the situation accordingly and they're not in tune with their intuition they're trying to run away from their intuition from their thoughts from their feelings and if this person has some some scorpio in their chart especially like in their venus when they operate out of the lower ego or from the lower energy they could be you know going after lust instead of love and that's just a, a subconscious decision that they make in order to actually not feel that love so it's just like that self-avoidance wow this shit is getting deep aries getting deep real deep they're not balanced within themselves they're not using their intuition they know that if they continue this work affair they're, they're things are going to leak out and things are going to happen and it's just like mm -mm. We've got the death card so on the time is up i'm telling you we've got you their outside influence is the ace of cups the two of cups and the five of wands you you're done being rejected for this love you tried you tried you tried and it's like no still yet there is still this two of cups so there is still for you you might be also dealing with someone new and you might be feeling like okay maybe i should just go for that new person because this ain't just not gonna work and it's got causing you a lot of conflict there are a lot of people that are um trying to give you what you want but you're not getting it from the right individuals so that's causing you conflict but also the people around you and there is something that's going to come to an end here uh there's a huge transformation coming and i told you this from the beginning of the spread so we're just going to go into the extended and see what the advices are and what more messages i got for you please do make sure to follow me on vimeo if you cannot find the link it's down in the description box or i think it's this way it's down in the description box and or else just google vimeo nailers illuminator you get the page and you can just click on it all right so i'll see you guys on the other side ciao